All right, so today um, I'm going to be doing a presentation on Chapter 1 from Intro to Health and Sports Science. Um, just kind of talking a little bit, mainly about uh, some of the principles of general fitness and uh, just kind of how working out works, how it helps you, and how it can be beneficial to the individual. So uh, for starters, obviously anything like cardiovascular related, anything that's getting your uh, your heart rate up and exercise is improving blood flow in your body and uh, your body's making adaptations uh, within the muscles in order to be able to sustain that type of exercise for a longer period of time. So any activity could be as simple as literally running on a treadmill, uh, going for a morning walk at a decent pace. These things will uh, definitely improve cardiovascular health and cardiovascular health um, is a very important component of individual fitness and general fitness just because it can really decrease the risk for some diseases and uh, can really help you have he healthier uh, arteries and uh, things like that as you age. So uh, a lot of people, especially in America today, are spending a lot of time stationary, working jobs where they're sitting around a lot and they're not getting adequate um, adequate cardiovascular activity. And on top of this, many of those same people have um, extremely poor diets, um, not hydrated enough, and things like this along with uh, with poor activity throughout your day, poor cardiovascular activity throughout your day can really lead to uh, health problems, especially with your arteries later on in life. So this is important and another thing, this also applies uh, generally to uh, strength training and training for endurance and cardiovascular health. Um, these things are reversible, so if you spend a bunch of time uh, running, if you spend a bunch of time doing workouts to improve your cardiovascular health. If you stop and you take a significant amount of time off, then you're not gonna have the same adaptations that your body had formed um, for the exercises before. So if you work really hard and say your one rep bench press is 225 and you worked really hard to get it to 225, you worked out for three months and then all of a sudden you stop, um, and you don't work out for two months, your bench max will not be 225. It will just naturally um, be lower. So, um, additionally, uh, there's some general guidelines that are important for this. Um, this is this is extremely general, but it's recommended to get at least 30 minutes of uh, just kind of upbeat activity, exercise, whatever that may be, um, all days of the week if possible. And uh, even for others, I mean, you can go up with this time as well. So obviously there's people, uh, even like myself, being a college athlete, I'm getting a lot more than just 30 minutes of physical activity a day. So um, say I were to graduate college, it's going to be really important for me to keep up my physical activity if I want to keep the health and the body and uh, just like the general movement and athleticism that I've obtained from working so hard over the years in sports. It's going to be important that that's something that I uh, continue to maintain. Uh, additionally, like I was saying earlier, low levels of activity. Um, really just is not beneficial. We have to be active in some way, no matter what. Uh, people are made to move and be healthy. And if you think about uh, people in the past who had to literally hunt for food and things like that, not live through shelter, or travel all the time, like these people were definitely in good shape. And our lifestyle isn't all that uh, all that welcoming to that these days. So it's definitely important to get adequate exercise daily. So along with this, um, not only is it important for, to be active, to eat well, to strength train, 
but it's also really important that you get rid of bad things. So a lot of people will focus on, oh, I'm doing this now, I'm doing this now, I'm doing this now. Um, there's definitely things that you just can't outperform. You can't really out-train a horrible diet. Um, so it's definitely multifaceted. It's not, um, it's not one of those things where if you just go work out, then you get to obtain this and then you keep it. It's, you have to work out, you have to do other things to maintain. Um, so learning how to do those things, whether it's, uh, kicking bad habits, whether it's drinking, whether it could be, um, it could be nicotine, it could be, you eat McDonald's twice a day, four times a week. Um, kicking those habits as well uh, will definitely help build a more well-rounded uh, fitness base fitness base for your general health and things like that. So um, if you're on top of your diet, on top of your cardiovascular training and strength training, you should be in a pretty good place in terms of your, uh, your physical well-being.